Hello, happy Friday, and welcome to FourCornersTV.com. I'm Laura Schweizer, and this is the Local Roundup. Today, a tiny town will come back to life. Animus Forks, a town 12 miles north of Silverton, was abandoned at the turn of the century. But with restoration efforts from community members and organizations, the town was resurrected. Today marks the celebration of both the restorative work done, plus the Animus Loop's 25th birthday. Even though the town only prospered for about 25 years, its history is alive and well-built today. The silver and gold was the first draw to the area back in the 1800s, but in the 2000s, sun is the new gold. In terms of energy, Ignacio hit the jackpot. The area's first solar garden is in the final stages of completion. 680 solar panels provide 200 kilowatts of electricity for 21 La Plata Electric Association customers. Those customers are renters and unable to install panels on their homes. Now the monthly bill will be a bit more, but in 10 years, LPEA says the scales will tip in the opposite way. And if you feel you've seen more prairie dogs than usual, you're not alone. The population of these little rodents is said to be the busiest season for control. The mild winter season last year could be the contributor. The Cortez Airport, Montezuma and La Plata County residents and Mesa Verde are all suffering from prairie dog infiltration. To protect land and investments, the ways of controlling the population vary. But if you're a lover, not a killer, remember not to get too close. Their fleas are known to carry the plague. Though the prairie dogs are eating up the pasture, pot users are eating up cannabis cuisine. And authors have read between the lines. Books are hitting the shelves with an A through Z list of pot topics. Mary Jane, The Complete Marijuana Handbook for Women and The Ganja Cookbook Revolution are just a few. And with a rise in revenue for edibles, cookbooks are cashing in. There are now more ways to make home-cooked cannabis creations than ever before. But if you're more of the beer type, you might want to check out the biggest birthday bash in Durango this weekend. It's Ska's 19th anniversary party and Brewers Invitational, including 30 microbrews, three bands, and a sold-out crowd. If you're unable to go or you want a recap of the celebration, check out FourCornersTV.com. I'll have the story for you Sunday morning right here. I'll also be at the whole expo this weekend, or what I like to call a spiritual seeker's paradise. But there's a lot more to it. I'm sure you're bound to find something that'll interest you. And we strive to do our best here at FourCornersTV.com, but yesterday, our producer got a little carried away. Perhaps you got a little fired up about a story that never aired. Today on In the Neighborhood, we'll take you on a wild adrenaline ride down the hogs back in Durango with a pro mountain bike rider, Anthony Diaz. That's today right here at 3 p.m. Thanks for watching The Local Roundup. I'm Laura Schweizer, and I'll see you Sunday morning.